Hey friends, Jax here. Today we'll examine Simplicity's recent release, the Borlean Studio plugin. So, according to their website, Simplicity website, Borlean Studio is a revolutionary new convolution based river plugin featuring the acoustics of the Teodex Studio in Borlean, hmm, captured with seven of the studio's finest microphones. With Borlean Studio, you can position your real or virtual instrument recordings at 18 locations in this highly regarded large studio. So, I must admit that this plugin has surprised me. It sounds great, even when compared with Mir Pro. So, let's check it out after the vignette. Bye bye! Okay, before listening to our audio example, let's look at the GUI, or in other words, the graph user interface. But hey, if you want to jump straight to the musical example, you'll find the chapters here. So that's okay, go there and come back here later. Okay guys, let's go. First thing, let me turn off this huge LED panel here, so I can <laughs> see my screen. Okay. At the right side of the screen, we have the Simplicity website. I'm going to be reading something from there and our QB session that we're going to be listening in a minute. But first, let's take a look at the specifications. They say that the plugin contains 18 different true star positions to have Deca 3 mics, AB par, two surround microphones positions, even higher and wider. Then they have the 18 source positions. Well, have positions the speakers, I guess, in the instrument more common positions, you know, like violins one, two, and viola. So, where are these positions? If you go to the left side of the interface, you're going to see that the violins one are here. Then you have violins two the violas, the cellis, the basses, the woodwinds, it's just one position for the woodwinds, three variations for French horns, here, the French horns bells forward, bells up, a normal, then you have the trumpets at the right, the trombones, the tuba, three variations for percussions, forward, upward, and large. Then you have the backstage wide, which I guess is this choir, it's named choir here. Then you have mid stage wide here and front stage wide. Oh, there we go, the 18 positions and convolutions. So whenever you load one of these positions, like say violin is one, you're loading the convolutions for Deca 3 mics, AB pair mics, and surround mics. You can load the convolutions either from this interface or this menu. Moving on, you have input, source, Deca 3 mics, AB pair mics, and surround mics. Okay, the input is actually only going to change the amount of signal you have from your source, you know? The source is actually the sound you're running through the plugin. In that case, this bassoon. So let's, let me mute the Deca 3 mics, the AB pair mics, and surround mics. So if I press play, I'm going to listen to only the source mic, which is the dry mic, you know, the source that I'm running through the plugin. In the source fader, we'll have the pan knobs here, the EQ, you can just click on this line. Okay, out. Then I have a mute button and a solo button. So let me load out the woodwinds position. It's just one position for the woodwinds. Okay, so let me play something here. Great, let's solo the Deca 3 mics so we can listen only to the Deca 3 mics. Great. So let's listen to the A, B pair mics. OK, 
Okay. Now the surround mics. Awesome. So let me open up all the microphones and you know, all the source and the simulated microphones, the Deca 3, blah, blah, blah. And let's listen to all of them. Let me blend the Deca 3 mics with the dry mics so you can listen to both together. Awesome. Okay, so now let me give you a nice tip that will make your life easier with Berlin Studio. I have sent all my instrument channels to these groups, the floats, oboes, English horns, clarinets, low clarinets, bassoons and contrabassoons. Okay, so I have added one Berlin Studio plugin to each one of these groups and while having the quick link selected, I go to the first Berlin Studio and now any change I make in one of these plugins will be applied to all the instruments, to all the other Berlin studios loaded up on the oboes, English horns, clarinets, low clarinets, bassoons, and contrabassoons. So I don't need to set the same thing in all these plugins, you know? So let me listen to only the woodwinds. So if now I want to listen only to the source mics, in that case the dry mic I can solo, and now, boom, only the dry mics. So now I want to listen to the Deca 3 mics, I play, and there we go, only Deca 3 mics. Mm. And A, B, power mics, and surround mics. And again, if you want to EQ all the Deca 3 mics of all of these Berlin studios that I have loaded, on floats, oboes, English horns, so just go to the Deca 3 mics, turn on the EQ, and EQ. So now I think it's time to move on and listen to the whole composition I have done. Well, not composition, it's exercise. Let's move on. Okay guys, have explained the interface. So now let's listen to some audio examples here. Here's a simple composition exercise I've made using only Spitfire Symphonic Series. You know, it's the woodwinds, they have the <clears throat> brass, percussions and the strings and the harp as well. Mm -hmm. So how would the Spitfire close microphone sound if you run through the Berlin Studio plugin? Yeah. Let's see, let's listen. So remember, I'm not using any room mics recorded by Spitfire here, you know? Only the instruments close mics. The only exception is the harp, okay? Which uses the Spitfire Decatrice mics. Great, guys, so um, let's listen to this exercise from beginning. Okay, great. It's a nice exercise, but we should listen to that again because I'm using both Berlin Studio to create the room and a lexicon reverb to add some modulation details. But now I'm gonna be muting, you know, the lexicon and listening again without the reverb tail and all the actually the modulation tails that I got from the lexicon. Now it's only the Berlin Studio. 
actually it won't be a huge difference again Okay guys, great, let's talk about routing. If I select the Albion high world winds, you're gonna be seeing that they're gonna be selected over here. So if I select my float, you can see the mixer and my oboe and my clarinet and the bassoons. All these instrument tracks are coming from Vienna Symbol Pro, both on my local computer and my PC server. Then I send these instrument tracks through these groups named Piccolo's floats, you know, to contrabass songs. All these groups go to a final group named Woodwinds and then the stereo out. Have repeated the same process for all the instruments. So for example, French horns, they go to a group called French horns and then to a final one, brass. You know, everything is the same with all the instruments. Okay, so let me give you some examples using the strings first. Let's mute the Woodwinds the brass, the percussions, and harps. I'm not using the extra lexicon reverb, okay? It's muted, don't have it. So let's listen to the strings with the Berlin Studio. Okay, so let me mute. Turn, actually turn off the Berlin studio for the strings, again. Okay, as you can hear, I'm not exaggerating the usage of the Berlin studio and the strings. I want the strings to be closer, okay? But let's listen to the, I don't know, let's see, the violas or cellos. There's a cello here. Mm -hmm. going to be muting here. Cellos. It would be better to listen only this solo here. With no Berlin studio, it's only the closed mics. Okay, so gotta turn on the Berlin studio. Here we go. Okay. Actually, I'm not using a lot of the EB pair mics and surround mics because I want the strings to be closer and I'm applying 29 milliseconds of delay to the surround mics to be even farther. Let me listen to only the Deca 3 mics. Simple EQ, cutting off some low frequencies. Now the AB pair, mi pair mics, sorry. Make it louder. Okay, and surround the mics. Great, minus 24, it was. Hmm. Sorry. Okay, so with all the mics. Great, now without the source mic, let's mute it. All the and all the, the, the raw mics. That's great. So let me close it here and come back to my strings. I'm gonna turn on the Berlin Studios for all of them. 
and give you another examples. Let's see here. <laughs> Again, without the Berlin Studio now. Great, so let me exaggerate some of the mics so you can really hear that. For example, for all the instruments, you know, the violins, violas, and cellos. Okay, I think it sounds great, honestly. That's okay. Great, guys. So let's move to brass now. We don't have a lot of brass on this composition exercise. It's really simple. Sorry. <laughs> okay, we have some trombones here. Let's listen to these chords. Two chords, actually. So let's get the brass. Don't have the strings anymore. Okay, now without the Berlin studio. Only the close mics. Well, Berlin studio is doing a great job in positioning these instruments, you know, back and far in the room. Let me show you. Have all of them selected. So again, only the Deca 3, only Deca 3 mics now. Hmm. I could filter some of the low mids, but let's keep it there. So now the A, B pair mics. Now this is round mics. Sounds good to me. Okay, natural. Okay. So let's move to the our percussions. I let me give you some example here. Okay, so let's listen to some timpani here. I'm gonna be listening to timpani with Berlin Studio first. It's soloed, okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's listen without the Berlin Studio. Yeah, really the closed mics, sorry, only the closed mics. So let me give you an example with the Berlin Studio interface. Solo the timpani. Here we go. So now only the surround mics. Sounds natural. Only the A, B pair mics. Mm -hmm. And Deca 3. Okay, in the source again, just in case you didn't hear first time. <laughs> Great. So, do you have any other example? Yeah, let's listen to Celeste here. Again, we have a PSP in the strip, some EQ, filter, and the Berlin Studio. Let's solo it and listen with Berlin Studio on. Okay, let's listen only to the source. 
with his dry mic in this case. Hmm. Well, as you can hear, the Bill Organ Studio is doing a great job to put the instrument far back in the room. Let's listen only to the surround mics. So, I'm sorry, again. Solo, okay. Only the A, B pair mics. Ah, different. Deca trip. Mm hmm In all of them, no. With the source, of course. Okay. I don't think I should go and listen to the old winds all over again because I have heard them in the previous chapter. But let me give you some quick examples here, maybe let's mute the other group tracks and listen to the woodwinds here. Okay guys, I don't think you should check out anything else anymore. I hope you have learned something, have enjoyed the video, you know, and see you in the next one. Bye bye. Hey, wait a minute. So I'm not telling you what to do with your money or if you should or shouldn't buy A or B software. You know, I'm not, I'm not rich, so I must carefully consider my purchases. Due to the nature of my projects, I needed to buy Altiverb and Mir Pro with all their packs. You know? But if Berlin Studio had existed by the time I purchased Mir Pro, I would have saved a lot of money. So don't get me wrong, I don't regret buying Mir Pro because it has more packs and rooms. You know? It's more versatile overall. However, 90% of my time, Berlin Studio would have solved my needs saved my ASS. So the convolutions are high quality and do a fantastic job of gluing instruments together in a, in a room, you know. So the graphic user interface is pure bliss and probably came from angels having a good day. So remember, Berlin Studio can also add all the early reflections. We didn't cover that part in the examples. However, you have a knob for the early reflections and another one for the tail reverb. Therefore, it has a reasonable degree of customization since you're allowed to decrease the room size. Mainly, I'm a bit neurotic about realism, so I wouldn't change the size. However, it's just me, man. Sounds good as long as you don't overdo it. That's it, man. Please leave a thumbs up if you have enjoyed the video, subscribe to my channel, please, and check out my website for my free Cubase presets. presets. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link here in the description. Thank you so much, really. See you in next video. Bye-bye.